with Brad tonight, and uh, we've got our Brian Alley Cowell here on our Whitman Legacy project, and we're custom fitting the uh, Cowell to our airframe. And I'm going to let Brad talk about what we're doing here, how we're uh, kind of doctoring it in, so it fits just perfect. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, basically, like Dave said, we had to custom modify this cowl to fit our airframe. Um, we basically had to fix a few defects um, on it and then narrow the back side of the cowl about an uh, inch total. So what we did is we made a, a couple pie cuts, uh, probably about 12 inches down and then back up to the, to the fuselage. We then sucked the side in up against the cowl, uh, the cowl, you know, top and then up against the uh, fuselage. So after that, we, we put a couple 90 clamps, um, you know, on it to hold it in place on both sides. And then what we did after that, we took the upper cowl off. We took a bunch of carbon fiber, we chopped it up, mixed it with epoxy, and then we used that on the back side first to fill in the gap uh, from the top and the side. Once that cured, we then took two layers of carbon fiber cloth. You can see there's a little bit here hanging out. Um, and we put that over the top of that chop epoxy mix, infused it with the epoxy, and then put a Dacron peel ply over it. Um, once that all fully cured, we brought it back over to the airplane um, and we put one layer on the top, which then re-solidified the strength back into the cowl. And, and now we can do our body work, we can sand it, we can do um, a little bit of uh, probably some um, glaze filler over the top of it and then proceed with our body work, um, our primer and paint. So basically then we, uh, we uh, also repaired this corner. I don't know if you can see, um, there was a chip out of the corner. Um, we did that epoxy chop mix and refilled in this 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 broken out corner we'll sand that bodywork that um and you'll you'll never be able to tell that there was a damaged piece there so those are a few steps that we've taken to make this fit to the airframe um we still have to make our flange and our mounting hardware to mount the top to the bottom and a few other little tiny details you know around the uh the windshield um which we tech uh, temporarily have this set up for our, our uh, Lexan uh, template. Um, so once, once that gets all finalized, then we can transfer that to our Lexan and uh, go from there. So. All right. If you uh, like what you've seen so far, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel. And uh, that way you will be um, tuned in on, on what comes next and uh, what other progress we make on, on this airplane. Thank you.